Hello, I'm Desi Beagle. I'd like to welcome you to my presentation on health wearable devices and their applications. This presentation is for an informatics course at Kennesaw State University. Today I will be presenting an overview of health wearable devices and their applications. By the end of this presentation, you will have learned what are health wearable devices, the history of health wearable devices, some applications for health devices, and their specific target markets, current market of health wearable devices, as well as the future outlook of the industry, and lastly, followed by a summary. What are health wearable devices? While they are a category of hand-free devices and they utilize information systems, they can be worn as accessories and fused into our clothing or even implanted into a body with the ability to send and receive data via the internet or Bluetooth. Some tracking capabilities that fitness, wearable, and health devices include heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, sleep quality and quantity, distance traveled, whether walking, running, biking, or swimming, as well as calories burned, location, global positioning system. The history of health wearable devices started back 220 years ago with Thomas Jefferson, who invented the first pedometer to measure steps here in the U.S. The next invention was in 1921 with polygraphs, which actually measured physiological responses like pulse rate, blood pressure, and skin response. Those were invented by John Larson. And then fast forwarding into 2006 with Nike. Nike collaborated with Apple and they launched a Nike Plus iPod, which actually integrated distance, calories, and reported through a participant's headphones so they had real-time live data to help them improve their progress. Next, we'll take a look at 2013 Zephyr Life. They actually developed the first commercially available comprehensive patient monitoring system. So this was a remote system, very state-of-the-art for our medical community of wearable devices. And now, into 2019, Garmin developed the Fenix 5X Plus. So this is a multi-sport watch, and you can store music, monitor your oxygen saturation levels while exercising and at rest, as well as sleep monitoring, altitude acclimation, smart payments, where you don't have to have your credit card, and a plethora of others. Let's discuss applications for health wearable devices in medicine. There currently is a fall detection lifeline pendant. There's an auto alert option built-in sensor that notifies Lifeline Response Center if someone falls and is unconscious, potentially. There is also a baby smart sock that will detect oxygen, saturation, and heart rate of your baby that will notify you via smartphone or watch if levels become low. There is also insulin monitoring devices and they continuously can administer insulin throughout the day and help you adhere to your medication. Lastly, there's a wireless electrocardiography monitor. Did you know in exercise physiology, wires in traditional machines can get tangled? That actually leads to potential inaccurate readings that can really detect or not detect a heart arrhythmia in someone. A few of the benefits are declining death rates from early detection. If someone has fallen, their insulin has rose or has lowered, as well as financial benefits of telemedicine. Now let's discuss applications for health wearable devices in sports and fitness. Millions of athletes rely upon fitness wearable devices day to day. One of the devices available is athletic clothing that actually monitors muscular electrical activity giving you power output in real time. There's also millions of people utilizing Garmin devices like watches. Triathletes utilize swim stroke efficiency as well as workout type and repetitions. This is very beneficial feedback that is provided from the Garmin app or the athletic clothing line app that will really help coaches as well as athletes improve their performance faster than they would otherwise if they're recording on a sheet of paper so again, a lot of these devices have free apps. Lastly, for applications, we're going to discuss employee well-being programs. So there is a lot of health and lifestyle wristbands out in market, and the majority of them really help improve employee sedentary behaviors while they're sitting in the office. 
some of the watches will actually buzz and say, get up. So that is very beneficial for employees as well as the employers because as I list a few of these benefits, you will notice that this is reducing costs for the employer, but also improving the health and happiness of the employee, which leads to improved employee retention and greater engagement. So for the employer, this is win-win, since they are more likely to stay if they feel valued, happy, and are engaged employees. Fitbit also partners and provides a valuable corporate option that helps derive your program and gives you aggregated data analytics to help employers determine which direction they would like to go with their well-being program. Let's dive into the current market of health wearable devices. I will touch on a few in this table like the medical wearable device of CardioCore wireless electrocardiography tracker, which helps cardiologists actually detect any abnormal heart arrhythmias or respiratory abnormalities both during rest and exercise. As you'll notice in the chart, there are wrist devices, both Fitbit and Garmin, primarily utilized for lifestyle and corporate well-being users. This is the most used due to the convenience and multi-use of the watches. The Athos Athletic Clothing Kit provides athletes and their coaches very robust exercise physiology data, like rate of electromuscular stimulation with specific exercises, to take their performance to the next, lev next level with improvement seen in a few weeks. There is a bright future outlook of the industry with an explosion of medical wearables that improve physician management of patients' chronic conditions, leading to increased longevity from early detection. There will also be greater fitness wearable utilization with employers using companies like Fitbit and Garmin. We will also see a spike in the frequency of device app usage due to improved ease of use. To summarize, historically pedometers were invented in the U.S. in 1788. Fast forwarding to 2006, where Nike and Apple first collaborated to launch the Nike Plus iPod. With our current market of Fitbit Charge 3, the baby smart sock technology, and health wearable device applications like medical monitoring, as we had discussed sports, fitness, and employee wellness, the future of health wearable devices will be improved over 2020 with ease of use, helping remotely manage health conditions and increase longevity by early detection. Thank you and have a great day.